and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman. Today we're learning how to play one of my favorite folk songs, Silver Birch Tree. I think it's a beautiful song and I hope you like it too. I'll play it for you. alone in the meadow, standing all alone in the meadow. Soon a shepherd boy comes walking, with his sheep and goats he's walking. Let's check out the sheet music for Silver Birch Tree. You'll notice today we don't have a grand staff. We just have this treble staff with the chord symbols written up above. So you really have two options for piano music. You can have a treble staff and a bass staff for the right hand and left hand, or you can just do the treble staff with the chord symbols written up above to tell your left hand what to play. This is called lead sheet style, and it's commonly used in pop or jazz styles. And I want you to be familiar with both grand staff style and this lead sheet style. So that's what we're using today. So we've got our treble clef. We've got our key signature, which tells us we're in D minor today. 4-4 four, four time signature. Four beats in every measure. And can you tell me the letter name of the note we start on? Looks like it's a step above the G line. So if you said it's an A, you're correct. We start on an A. Now, can you point to each note and tell me if the notes are stepping, skipping, or repeating? Let's see if you can do it on your own. Say, start for the first note, and then the step skips or repeats. Go. So if you said, start, repeat, 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 step down, step down, repeat, step down, step down, you are correct. Now, let's check out the rhythm. Let's say ta for the quarter notes, and let's say two with two beats for the half notes. Speak the rhythm with me. Ready, go. Ta, 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 two. Ta, ta, two, two. Great job. Now, let's try playing it on the piano. Okay, let's cover up the D minor pentascale with our right hand. Can you play and name every note of the D minor pentascale starting with D? Let's say them one at a time. Go. D, E, F, G, A. Good. Now, you'll see that the first note, as we said, is A. And I'll sing and play this once for you in solfege, and then I'll give you a turn to try it. So on this first phrase, we have so, 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 fa, me, me, re, do. And remember that in minor, instead of me, we say me. For me, we'd need an F sharp, but since we're in D minor, we'll say me. Now, can you press pause and try playing that first phrase on your own while singing the solfege? Press play when you're ready to try it with me. Okay, let's try it together and sing the solfege, starting with finger five on A, which is so in the D minor pentascale. Ready, go. So, 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 fa, me, me, re, do. Good, and now line two is the same notes. So let's try line two now. And this time let's sing the lyrics, standing all alone in the meadow. Ready. Go. Standing all alone in the meadow. Good. Now, this time, let's try singing the letter names. We start on an A, then it steps down to G, to F, to E, to D. Can you play and sing the letter names with me? Go. A, 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 G, F, F, E. Great. Now let's check out line three. 
All right, for these two lines, you'll notice we have a note, no chord, both hands play melody. Again, today we're just focusing on the right hand, but that will come into play later. Do you notice any rhythms on this line that we haven't seen so far in this song? Yeah, it's right here at the beginning. We have this dotted half note, which gets three beats, unlike the half note, which gets two beats, or the quarter note, which gets one beat, for this, we have to think one, two, three, or sometimes I say three, ta, 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 two, two. Make sure you hold this note for three beats. It's kind of a long note. Now, can you point and tell me how these notes are moving? Tell me if they're stepping, skipping, or repeating. Say start for the first note, go. The correct answer is start, step up, step up, repeat, step down, repeat, step down, step down. Great, let's try playing that on the piano. So for line three, we're still in the D minor pentascale. And this time, since the first note is an E, we need to start with finger two. So we'll have one, two, three, then step up to F, G, G, F, F, E. Now, press pause and practice line three. Don't forget to hold that E, that dotted half note, for three beats before you go on. Press play once you've practiced that and you're ready to try it with me. Great, now let's try line three together. We're gonna start with finger two on E. Remember to count three beats. Ready, go. One, two, three, F, G, G, F, F, E, D. Great. Now, let's check out line four. In music, there's this danger. Sometimes a student will see, ah, this is starting off the same way as line three. So I'm just going to play it the exact same as line three. But that could catch you off guard because sometimes in music there's just one note or one little detail that changes. So it is very important to check every single note. And that's true on this line. There is one note, just one, that changes. Can you find it and put your finger on it? If you're pointing right here, you're correct. This time, instead of repeating on the G, it goes G and then step up to A and then skip down to F, repeat, step down, step down. So let's say all the step skips repeats for this line together, go. Start, say it with me, start, step up, step up, step up, skip down, repeat, step down, step down. Now, can you figure out the letter names for this line? Let's try to say the letter names. Try it by yourself once, it starts on E. Now you try the rest, E, The correct answer is E, F, G, A, F, F, E, D. Now, let's try to play it on the piano. Back in the D minor pentascale, once again, we're starting with finger two on E. Let's count one, two, three on that first note, and then we'll sing the letter names after that. So I'll demonstrate once. We have E, two, three, F, G, A, F, Press pause and practice line four on your own. Press play when you're ready to try it with me. Okay, let's try it together and count three beats on the first E with finger two. Ready, go. One, two, three, F, G, A, F, F, E, D. Great. Okay, let's practice the whole song now. Put it all together. Press pause and practice on your own. You can download the sheet music from our website for reference. And once you feel like you have the whole thing together, you can try playing along with me or listen. Okay, I'm going to play all of Silver Birch Tree. I'll be adding the chords, which we'll learn in a later lesson. 
but your job is to just play the right hand, or if you like, just listen. Here it is from the beginning. I'll count four beats and then we'll start. One, two, three, four. Nice work learning to play the melody of Silver Birch Tree. Please practice every day until confident. Remember to be careful of the rhythm, especially on the long dotted half notes. Hold them as long as they are due. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hello there, Silver Birch Tree. I uh, heard that you were standing all alone in the meadow, so I thought I'd drop by and see if you needed anything. I just thought you might be, you know, feeling lonely. And I was thinking, if you ever wanted some company, you know, you should talk to the one black key down at the bottom of Mr. Hoffman's piano. He's kind of all alone too, and, you know, I thought maybe the two of you could be friends. Oh, and I'd love to be your friend too. I'm a chef, you know, and I could bake bread and share it with you. But you don't eat, of course, uh, except sunlight and uh, dirt. Uh, wow, I'm feeling super sleepy. It's such a warm day, and a nap under your shade sounds perfect. Oh, thank you for your shade, Silver Birch.